let's bring a deskless use case to life. I'm happy to introduce a couple organizations that have really creative solutions for the mobile workforce. First, One Global, a device and communication solution that provides for simplified provisioning, optimized network performance, cost-effective management that empowers business with uninterrupted global connectivity, and Suit Supply, a personalized tailor and styling company that provides each of their employees an iOS device connected from anywhere to customize the experience for customers purchasing their next suit. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Hakan Koch from One Global and Tuan Schulten from Suit Supply. Other side, there we go. Welcome, thank you so much for joining us. So, Hakan, thank you for joining us, and I know you traveled a long way to be here. Yes, I Can you tell us a little bit about how the integration of the eSIM with Jamf Pro Management uh, has enabled mobile devices for large global workforces like suit supplies? So, One Global is a global enterprise telco, right? We, we solely focus on people who have the needs of rolling out large user groups and, uh, and large groups of devices, and eSIM is the key to that. Because you want, you don't want to go in a store and get a SIM card, and actually it's not possible anymore because Apple caught many people off guard with the iPhone 14, 15, now 16. There is no SIM slot anymore in the US, so what do you do? And uh, we are the only telco that owns their own eSIM server. You have to think about it. For everyone else, it's a vendor. For everyone else, it's like, oh, we've got 20 million chip SIM cards, and let's get one electronic one and, and just make it happen. For us, it's really about the journey. We think eSIM first, API first. So this is a phenomenal partnership. We love it. We love the use case where we want zero touch, zero trust, zero effort. And the poster child for this was Suit Supply, who called us and said, we are a multinational organization. We have people in dozens of countries, over 1,000 people. We want to give everybody an iPhone. But we don't want to drive there. We don't want to meet them. We don't want to break out SIM cards. And, uh, and we don't want to collect them afterwards when, when they uh, decide uh, not to be with us anymore. So what do we do? And that's where the magic of eSIM happens. And uh, I'm very excited about this. Awesome. Thank you. And Tuan, how have these mobile devices with One Global eSIM and Jamf Pro actually changed the day-to-day -day work for your 1,200 devices in 12 countries? Uh, yeah, basically, we, at SuitSupply, we like to uh, basically do everything as personal as possible. You're getting a suit, so you want a personal treatment. And uh, we use the, these devices. I mean, you, you book an appointment with a style advisor or a tailor, uh, and the, the tailor knows up front what's your goal of the visit, where you're coming from, for a wedding suit, for a more casual look, for anything. So up front, he knows what, or she, what's the uh, goal of the visit, uh, which sizes the customer has, if it's a returning customer. Uh, if we have his sizes on stock, or do they need to be altered, what's the preferred way of contact this? So basically all of that information is right in the pocket of the style advisor in the store, including uh, the point of sales. So basically as soon as you enter the store until you leave, the style advisor stays with you uh, and has everything in the pocket. So you don't have to go to a cash desk, it's just more convenient and more personal. Wonderful. Yeah. Now Hakan, how does Jamf Pro plus an eSIM provision from One Global actually enhance security? So I think when you think about the SIM card, and in a couple of years we will think, it's like when you go in an old castle hotel and they give you these large keys and you think, how did they use this for security? So the physical SIM card will be the same. Because now you have RFID badges and you can issue them remotely, you can revoke them remotely, and, and eSIM is the same. It's the same cryptographic principle. You've got hardware secure elements on your phone, that, uh, and there is a GSMA protocol that manages this security. So when you think about zero trust, the biggest concerns we have these days is SIM swap fraud, two-factor authentication through SMS, um, SIM usage fraud, where employees might take the enterprise SIM, put it in another device, or the other way around, where you want to use an un un unauthorized device or SIM, vice versa, and we can lock all of this down but by providing a better user experience. So you can literally just, and we'll show it in a minute, you set up a brand new phone, it's shrink wrapped, you enter your credentials and you've got your SIM, you've got your number, he doesn't do anything anymore, you've got your SSO provider, could be Okta, could be Entra, and you, could, you just set your user up, they set up their phone and that's it. 
Yeah? And de depending on their role, because we're a global telco, they get a US phone number or a UK phone number or we port their number or a German number. So it's like dream come true, yeah? real zero touch, real zero trust. And, uh, and there are also, when you think about the stim, it's also authenticating you to other use cases. We have enterprise customers that say, I don't want my device to be connected to the internet. Please put it in my cloud firewall. I want on a network level, as the telco on the, on the OSI layer, we are much lower, right? We are, we are on your transmission layer. So we can already at that point bring belts and suspenders to your cybersecurity. We can say, this thing doesn't go to the internet. This actually goes to the corporate firewall. So what's the key to that? The SIM. So I don't want a physical SIM floating around that anybody can put in any device. I want to assign this, the highly secure cryptographic principles, and that's what eSIM enables us. Boy, that really sounds like trusted access. You can tell why we like this story. Now, Hakan just mentioned that you don't have anything to do, but that's not really true. But you can tell us a little bit about how this has reduced IT overhead in yeah. your organization. Well, it's partially too, because we set it up beginning this year. Uh, I was the one who did it uh, together with uh, One Global. And basically, in the six months after, I didn't touch it. Uh, we, we built everything role based, so it doesn't really matter if there's like 20 devices or 2,000 devices. Uh, we use Entra ID, so every job description tells you where you're at, which store you're at, so you get a US or a German number. And because of that, basically, unified approach, uh, we decreased all the support scenarios back to one because it's the same uh, all over the world. Doesn't matter where you go, you just unbox a new iPhone, log in with your suit, uh, suit supply credentials, we will show it uh, in the demo, and that's about it. So we took all the user effort out, except, except of logging in, and for the support scenarios, because it's iPhones, they're all connected with an eSIM, uh, if there is support needed, they're always connected, so we can basically manage them and give them remote spot anywhere, even when they're not uh, connected to the store Wi-Fi, for example. Awesome. Now, we've alluded to it a couple times, but we've got a video of the real-time provisioning process, so we'll go ahead and bring that up. And uh, once it's up, I'm hoping you can kind of show us or tell yeah. us what we're seeing here. Yeah, basically, this is the out-of-box experience as we ship uh, new phones to the stores. Uh, store employee has, of course, a suit supply account. They uh, connect the phone to Wi-Fi log in with a suit supply address, and that's basically the longest part of, uh, of this whole demo. Then in the background, all the apps start loading, and you have to be really quick, because in the demo it's really short. You see the SIM card provisioning and activate it. We created this demo account for a New York style advisor, and basically he gets all the apps, uh, inventory management from the New York store, uh, US, New York, uh, number and all the POS already attached to the New York store. Basically, so for the end user, it's grabbing a phone, log in, and that's it. And also for the support scenarios, I mean, if a phone breaks, they just go to the back of house, take a spare one, start all over, and everything is there again. Awesome. And the whole process takes about a minute and a half? And yeah, it depends on your Wi-Fi connection, but I would say about two minutes. And yeah. then everything is set up and from unboxing tailor... it to using it. And the tailor's just good to go? It's good to go, yes. Wonderful. Great. It's still loading. This is go. where it downloads all the profiles, and that's what I said. It depends on the, on the Wi-Fi connection. Yep. But the SIM card is installed like basically an app on the background, and if you go to settings and you're really quick, you can see it happen. But if not, it, it's just there. And for the, I mean, when you're setting up an iPhone, you don't watch the screen and everything. So basically, they log in, and, and they put it away, and then they pick it up, and everything is there. They're good to go. Great. Now, Hakan, for your session tomorrow, a little bit of spoilers for that session, but yeah. in the description, you describe a 90% reduction in admin effort to swap mobile devices, or mobile providers, excuse me. Can you tell us a little bit about how that happens? Yeah. So we, we serve big multinationals, and we have one American financial services company, and the admin told me, Hakan, to stage a phone, I need 90 days. And it was nearly, I wanted to get up and hug him yeah, and cry together. So it's, there's three people you don't want to have hassle. The CISO and the cybersecurity department, because who gets which them, which role, which access. The second is the whole admin organization. And it might be multi-tiered. It might be a central org with a crosstalk warehouse and then bringing it to the bank building and the local person and then uh, coordinating with the user. And you don't want the hassle for the user. And uh, with the solution that we've shown, Literally on Monday, you give us the API key to Jamf Pro. We set you up in 15, 20 minutes. On Tuesday, you can click a button and distribute 
to 20,000 devices anywhere on the planet. You could be in the airline distributing SIM cards to 10,000 iPads. And then from Wednesday, we can start porting numbers. Uh, we can bring in your US numbers, UK numbers, German numbers, whatever you want. And, uh, and there are special use cases. I mean, the funny thing about telco is sometimes we make it really hard to onboard customers. You really have to fight for your SIM or eSIM uh, or even activation. Uh, we have a use case uh, where there's a corporation that has employees abroad, yeah, deep down in Central Africa, and they need to port a number. And uh, the, t the, the mobile network says, oh, to port a number, you have to be in the US. So please fly over, uh, connect to a network, and then we can port your number. So there, there are use cases you wouldn't even think about. Obviously, an eSIM for us doesn't make a difference. So this is a digital product. It's like an email. It's like an app. We can send it to you and your, and your user, all secure, all managed, and it doesn't matter where you are and doesn't matter how many there are. So we have no limitations. We will provision 100,000 SIMs for you. You can have shared plans. It doesn't matter. It should really not be, we cannot be your burden to bring people online. And we were chatting with Tuan. He told me about the pop-up store um, where they, the, 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 the network connectivity wasn't there yet. They needed music in the store. So they just decided, take a brand new iPad, deploy one of our SIM cards, buy two speakers, and boom, there's, there's your store connectivity, there's your music. So it needs to be ad hoc. Yeah? It needs to be like, boom, join my Wi-Fi. It's like, boom, join my mobile network. There's no reason anymore in 2024 that that does not work. Awesome. So Tuan, beyond all of these amazing operational impacts, what is the actual day-to-day -day experience for a customer like? Uh, basically, it helps to uh, provide us the most tailored and personal experience as possible because the, basically as it starts when you make your online appointment, if you even do. As soon as you enter the store, uh, people will know you're coming, so the style advisor or tailor will stick with you for the whole shopping experience. And also, even after the shopping experience sort of ends, because, well, it's a suit that needs to be made or altered for your, for your sizes, uh, we, we know the preferred way of contact for a customer, some like, just like a call, some like a text, some like an email, uh, but it also works the other way around. So if we know that a customer, a frequent customer says, well, this is exactly a suit he or she would wear, then we can reach out to the customer on a personal level with a tailor they know. So it works both ways to basically get everything as, as personal and one-on-one -on -one, uh, as possible, because we think that does a lot better than a mass email to everyone. So it's secure, efficient, and you end up looking great at the end. This is a, a wonderful story. Thank you so much for coming to tell us. Uh, and I already alluded to it, but you have a dedicated session, and this is tomorrow at 10.15 a.m., about distributing eSIMs for organizations. Please join me in thanking Hakan and Tuan from One Global and Suit Supply. Thank you. And you'll be on hand at the Jamf Expo Hall this week as well. Yep. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And I'll hand it back to Milland. Thank, Thank you. you very much.